What's up? Welcome to Johnny Savannah. I apologize for the delay in uploading this week's video review of a cigar, but I've been having some family emergencies, so that's why I didn't get a chance to do it. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, like the video if you do. If not, it's all good. So today I have the SP1014. I don't know if you can see that very well. Boom, right there. This is a cigar that was rolled and blended by Eladio Diaz. If you're not familiar with Eladio Diaz, he was on the Davidoff team. If you think Davidoff, you usually think about the counters. But Eladio Diaz was also part of creating the uh, Master Collection and very involved in other blends there. Um, he went and started his own factory where he's blended cigars for like Privada Cigar Club, the Delicados, um, the uh, this one here, the SP1014 Black by Sanj. He has a shop out of Jersey. Um, shop owner, this is uh, one of his blends. He has a previous one, the Red Edition. I think it's a Love and Passion or something. And that was blended by Chico Rivas. This one's blended by Eladio Diaz out of his new factory. So you know it's going to be a banger. Um, if you don't know much about him, look him up on the website on google or something and you'll you'll learn more about his history and who he is uh, but without further ado let's get into this review so on the foot i'm getting some some chocolate some barnyard something of that nature on the foot i'm getting some like hay some leaves some like autumn Maybe some like dried up or wet leaves. So we'll see what happens on the cold draw as well as the initial few puffs. All right, so let's get the cold draw going. Still getting those like uh, hay leaves. Some spices similar to the foot maybe like some uh, baking spices let's go ahead and get this sucker the foot toasted so first off the draw it's been very good. It's been pretty well constructed cigar from what I can see. Um, there was a little bit of tooth on this. Nothing too crazy of tooth, but you can kind of see it there. Uh, tooth just means pockets of oil that are there. I'm getting chocolate, like a chocolate bar. Maybe some dried fruit, like a cherry. And then uh, I'm getting kind of like when you drink a dark soda, when you get that aftertaste of like sweetness, but it's like that soda taste. So kind of like a soda pop. So first off, I'm getting some chocolate, some like dried fruit and like, like a dark soda. pleasant so far so we'll see what happens as we get further down into the first third all right so first third i'm definitely getting that chocolate and i'm getting like a soda so definitely like a like a cherry coke or like a dr pepper uh something with that soda type of taste to it uh, the burn has been great. The draw has been great as well. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Let's try to get that in there. You can see kind of that tooth that I was talking about. Even on the ash. The ash is holding very well. Um, so far, it's been a good stick. We'll see what happens. Second, third, as you can see. Still burning. Has that long ash. Uh, great construction. Um, I'm still getting that chocolate note. 
some type of like soda, like a dark soda, like a cherry Coke, Dr. Pepper, something of that nature where you have that kind of soda or soda water kind of aftertaste. So I'm getting that. Uh, the only thing that's new is I'm getting those baking spices a little bit, a hint of that, as well as some nuttiness. We have to dig deep in there to get that note because uh, that soda kind of overpowers uh, the notes. But uh, so far, it's been a great stick, great construction. We'll see what happens as we continue to move down this stick into the uh, latter part of the second third and the uh, final third. So in the second third, as I started getting to the band, I noticed some transitions and it went down to the final third and those notes were the same. So I got like coffee grounds as well as earth and like a uh, dirt or an organicness. I got some uh, chocolate still there. Some of that soda where it's kind of like that soda water or just like a dark soda coming through. Um, Overall, it's been a great stick, great construction, and held the ash really well. Um, definitely try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. The strength did pick up towards the end. Um, so it started off medium. Eh, kind of kept medium, medium plus, And then the strength picked up towards the end. So try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed it or if you got your hands on one. We'll catch you on the next review.